children in Dallas County live below the poverty line? That's why places like City Square exist. What's that you say? You've never heard of City Square. Well, let me explain. City Square is a nonprofit organization that is, exists to fight the root causes of poverty by partnering with those in need. And it just so happens that my grandfather, Larry James, is the president. He's almost as good at being a CEO as he is at spoiling us grandkids. <laughs> oh, look, an H. This goes perfectly with what I was just saying. City Square covers these four basic needs. Housing, hunger, health, and hope. Hi, I'm Gracie Toombs in the fifth grade at White Rock Elementary. And to give you, and not today, I'm going to give you a better understanding of City Square. To, to make to give you a better understanding of this nonprofit organization, I'm going to take you on a tour of City Square's many buildings. To make this easier to process, I brought this special map. Our first stop is the food pantry. Food is very important because lots and lots of people are hungry because they don't have proper nutrition. This food pantry, like all other food pantries, this one gives people in need food so they will not be hungry. But here's the twist to it. Instead of being staffed by volunteers, this food pantry is run by people who were former clients of City Square and they were come and now they come back after being helped and they help others. So they understand how they're supposed to treat the people and how they want to be respected. Our next stop is the healthcare clinic. It started as a one-hour started as a one hour a week volunteer clinic in 1990 and now it has um, a community diabetes education program, a comp comp comprehensive adult care, and pediatric care too. Okay, so we can all see this building right here, right? As you can tell, it's one of those really tall buildings downtown. Yeah, well this one's special because it's been turned into a 200 apartment complex, and, and with 50 of those reserved for the formerly homeless. So people who used to live on the street now have a roof over their head. Okay, so we can all see how City Square is helping the world today. So you're probably all wondering, hmm, what's City Square's plan for tomorrow? Well, I have a surprise for you today. I'm taking you to the future. Right here, which will be in full swing by the end of the year, is the Opportunity Center. It has a food outreach center, an educational outreach center, a community services center, and a welcome center. Yes, it does give people food, but it also gives people education and then other skills they need so they can get a better paying job so they can afford their own food and be able to have their own health care and they can um, get their own housing and they won't need City Square's help anymore. Okay, now let's get serious. Did you know that the 250 most expensive homeless people in Dallas County cost the city $40,000 each per, per person each year? City Square decided that they could, they could house 50 of these people for much less. How, you ask? Well, this is one of the 50 cottages City Square plans to build right across from, hey, what do you know, the Opportunity Center. This way, people who used to live on the street will be happier be able to be clean so they can go on job interviews and they won't, they'll know, they'll feel more secure knowing where they're going to sleep at night. So after seeing how wonderful this nonprofit organization is, you're probably wondering, hmm, what's a way we can help? Well, donations are always appreciated and there's, op there's many various opportunities to volunteer throughout the year. Maybe in the future, places like City Square won't have to exist. But for now, it's good to know it's there. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.